Hey folks, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. And what do I have going on today? The latest in the series from Mila. This is the 6150. I'm going to get this messed up. 6150. And this is the 6350 in the C series. So uh, what do we have going on here? These are a little bit different price point. Check those out on our website. Um, this one is the higher end one. And some of the features that are a little bit different than the 60, uh, 6150 over here is active cup warmer. This has a passive, which really isn't very warm at all. Uh, a little bit of silver tones back in here, as you can see. Uh, the 6350 also comes with the double insulated thermo stainless steel carafe for the milk. This one does not. Uh, you can see a little bit of polished on here as far as on the up and down coffee spouts, polished stainless steel, brushed stainless steel over here. And uh, what else? This does not have a hot water spout, whereas this one has a hot water spout right here. You can see it hanging down. So those are the basic differences between these two machines. They both do a really good job. What do they have going on? Water tank right over here is 60 ounces of water on each one of them, right there. They both hold 6.60 uh, ounces of coffee. And this looks small, but it goes way back in there. They both will do pre-ground coffee right here, one scoop only, and the, in the box comes with a scoop. They both have the same programmability. And let me tell you, this machine, this, these two models have more programming than most machines I have ever come across. Also, if you want a hot drink, these machines make a very hot drink. I have never seen one that's any hotter than this. And the foam is very good as well. So up here in the menu, there are so many selections. I can only just kind of get briefly into it to give you the overview. You're going to have to check out our website and uh, you can always pull up the owner's manual as well. You can get in here and you can change uh, the parameters for all of these drinks. Espresso, coffee, Cappuccino, latte macchiato, ristretto, cafe americano. I mean, it just goes on and on. You know, you can change all the parameters. And what can you change? You can change the amount of coffee that goes down into the drink. You can change the amount of milk if it's a milk-based drink. You can change the temperature as well, from low, medium to high. Like I said, it's hot. So you can change all of those. I can also. Uh, change all the parameters on the four drinks that are on the front of the unit here. And this is just on the fly. Somebody comes up and they say, boom, I want a cappuccino. And they push the button and down it comes into the, into the cup. And again, you can program that. You can also do four different profiles. Like I have my profile in here. Now it's on Gale. You can see that. All of the drinks in there, the Americano, the Distretto, the Latte, Macchiato, all of those I can program to my liking. And when I push the button, it will give me exactly what I have programmed it for. This thing is made for me, right? It's going to do just what I ask it to. And then uh, you can also get into this menu over here, and I can program all of that as well. I can also double up two cups under here. I can make two drinks. If I push that, it's going to make double of whatever I push. So if I push espresso, it'll make two double shots, if that's what I have it programmed for. Um, what else has it got? It has, of course, uh, language. It has um, auto on, auto off, econo mode. It'll go into an econo mode. And in that econo mode, there's some more settings within that that you can program as well. Just a numerous amount of programming in this machine. Uh, let's see, what else has it got in that program? Econo mode, lighting. You see the lighting under here? This one doesn't have that lighting. This one has lighting. You can turn it on or off. Info, system lock. You can take it back to factory settings. Oh, there's just so much. I mean, I can't say enough about this machine, about how much it does. They also both come in black and white. So you have your choice of black or white. Uh, it'll do 10 pucks before you have to clean it. And the cleaning happens right down here. This is the drip tray. It'll do 10. All of this comes apart just like typical. This is a pretty large drip tray, I would say. Um, it holds quite a bit.
Okay, so one of the key features about this machine, from my point of view is, and if you've never had a super automatic before, is how this tube cleans itself. On most super automatics, you have tubes that you have to take off, throw them in a solution overnight, clean them, and just worry about them from one end to the other. Or you have carafts that they do an okay job and they clean fairly well, but after a few days of sitting in the refrigerator, the milk that's in the carafe is cold and you can put it back in the fridge. It gets a little, you know, you probably want to dump it out and clean that carafe often. This cleans itself by taking this tube out of here and you put it down into here and you uh, actually push the proper button. After you make a milk-based drink, it will prompt you to do it. And it sends extremely hot water down through here, a nice stream of water. This is not just a little bit. This thing is free of milk when you get done with it. It's an excellent cleaning system, probably one of the best on the market in my eyes. Um, the other thing that this has is a five and five eighths cup clearance, which is pretty tall. Goes from about three something up to five and five eighths, which is nice. Hot water, as we already mentioned. Also behind this door right here, I wanted to show you what's housed in here. What's in here is the brewery unit, the grinder control, and storage for the hose for the frother. So on the brew unit, you just push this little red button up, swing this up, out she comes. Typical brew unit, a little bit different design because it's uh, made by uh, Melee and it's Swiss made and so it's not going to be like the Italian machines. Also, uh, your grinder setting is right here, right there, and also right down here. They think of everything there in Switzerland. This is the hose for your uh, automatic milk frother and it is stored right here. And if you're anything like me, if you don't have a storage spot for it like this, it's going to get lost in a junk drawer in the kitchen. Really nice. Uh, I think the next step is to make a drink so that you can see how this works. So stick with me for a minute. I'm going to get some milk in that carafe. I am going to go get a cup and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got my glass right here, my double wall. I have this program, the cappuccino over here. I have it programmed for the way I like it. Well, the first time that sucked up the milk and put it down in there, I went, whoa, what's going on here? You'll see what I mean. There. You get used to it. If I want to pause this and not have my usual drink, I can stop it. But I'm not going to do that. I wanted to make the one I already programmed. It has pre-infusion, wait time, and you can program that too for a longer or a shorter pre-infusion in the menu. So there you go. Pretty nice, huh? Taste test. That's nice foam for a super automatic. That's excellent foam. Mm, 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 mm. And hot. Hot, hot, hot. One other feature that I neglected to mention sooner, and it's one of the biggies with this machine. Under here is a, uh, a flap that hangs down. It's a piece of plastic, and you can buy a craft from uh, Mila, and that you can put it under there, and it's a thermo carafe, and you can brew what's called a pot of coffee, and it'll brew from three to eight uh, portions of coffee down into this carafe, and it brew grinds and brews, grinds and brews three to eight times, and you can tell it what you want it to do. So, and I think that might be in here. There it is, coffee pot. Okay, three, four five, six, seven, or eight. 
So that's an extra nice feature. No other Super Automatic has that feature, I can tell you hands down. We tried it, it tasted great. And so this machine, I would say, has some features that you're not gonna get in another Super Automatic, especially at the price point. Check them out on our website. This one's a little bit, quite a bit less than this one. But as I pointed out, the differences, there's just a few. The carafe, the, uh, the looks, the hot water feature, uh, passive versus active cup warmer. Those are the main features. You're still going to get the same menu, the same good drinks, and the capability of doing a pot of coffee. Check it out on our website. Look forward to hearing your feedback on this one because I'm very excited about these new uh, machines from um, Mila. So let us know. Comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys.